Okay, so for those who missed before I pushed record, um, I wanted to just continue chatting about what we talked about the past couple weeks, which is freemiums, free groups, just a way to provide the most value and what makes sense in this business. We all know, I just, I do believe this business is shifting a little bit in terms of like social media and what we're sharing on social media. Um, we all know that now with even like freemiums and like recipes. I mean, people just want value. People want, there's so much they're being quote unquote sold to on social media, even though what's really funny is like, I was, I was actually talking to a new coach th today, which I'm going to call or I'm going to kind of call her out on this. Cause she was like, I just, I don't want to be salesy. And I, you know, we were talking about invites and I was like, girl, do you realize like, when I go to a social media page, I expect like, I just like, like, I want to see what she's wearing. I want to see what links she's going to share. I want to, you know, see, see what she has to offer. Oh, she's doing these workouts. What workouts is she doing? Like, what link can I go check out? And I, I think I'm, I'm more leaning towards the thoughts of like, what can we give them an insight into of what we have to offer you know, more of because, um, yes, I, I don't want to feel like I'm being sold to when I'm going to your page, but I do want to know about it. And if I'm interested, I want to be able to know about it and learn about it. And, um, you know, that's why I think inviting is important because I do think people will come to our page and they don't necessarily want to have a conversation with us. Like, you know, like, is there a spot on our page that we can have a, a quick link to say, you know, check out my free workouts. Here's a preview, you know, and, and click on it and be able to check out the workouts without having to have a conversation. Um, you know, if they're having, if they say no, not right now, like just being able to provide them more things of what we have to offer, because I do believe we have to, we have to tell them what we have and that they can join it. That makes sense. <laughs> kind of was rambling there, but if you guys know what I'm saying? Like, yes, I know some in our minds, we think inviting's like feel salesy to us, but in turn, like we have to let them know somehow that they can join us. Um, we have to invite them in, you know, and like tell them what we have to offer. Um, and I do think that we could at, like, just in general, I mean, I'm even talking my own social media, have a better, have a better, like, have our Instagrams have a better thing where they are able to go and click on a link, check out our free workouts. Um, you know, I even was, I've just been like really snooping around other fitness, like in our industry. So the health and fitness industry and like seeing what they're doing to like, like if I were to come to their page, like without me and her having an, a message together, like what could I get from her? What do I want to know? And first things first is it's like, okay, well, I want to know what supplements she's taking. So it's like, sure enough, I clicked on her link in her bio and she like had this full um, spreadsheet of like uh, of supplements she's taking with all the links to like Amazon. And sure enough, like she's going to get paid for me clicking on her Amazon link to buy her creatine or her pre-workout. Um, if that makes sense. So I'm just like, really trying to brainstorm ideas for all of us to like have ways of really providing value and offer what we have in the most valuable way if that makes sense am I I might be rambling does that make sense to you um so I don't know if you guys have put any more thought around around these free groups or these freemiums or like what else you could be doing to offer quote unquote value without it being recipe, 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 because yes, recipes do really well, but what other ways can we get creative when it comes to sharing what we have to offer and people being able to see? So I thought those were two good ones. Um, like having, again, like updating my link, my link, link tree is it link in or whatever um and like having a link says here's a list of all my supplements and then she could go through and click on all of them also like check out my workouts um you know again I personally have it where she has to fill out a form 
Um, and then she'll get added to my contact list. And then she could like subscribe to the body preview that we talked about last week. Um, so those are two things that I have on my list to do to like update. Um, I don't know. Have you got, I'll stop talking a little bit. I don't know if you guys have come up with any ideas that I'm going to eat again. Uh, <laughs> I like that. Like I'm most one of those people that have to like, if I like, I don't know, I follow this one girl, her name's Mallory and I like to click on her links. And then I'm like, I don't know. I just like to play around and like, I don't really want to commit yet, but I'm like, yeah. you know what I mean? I, I love her content, but I, I just, shop. I, I just want to <laughs> shop. I just want to look, I just want to see what it's about before yeah. I like commit to something. Yeah. The other thing too, that if you guys haven't done this and again, it's been a while since I've like snooped all of your Instagram, but like making sure you have that pinned post at the top that introduces yourself. Um, that says who you are, that talks a little bit about yourself. Cause that's the other thing too, is I'm like, just do this. Like it's, I know it's hard to find somebody out there, but like, I just have been looking for some Instagram influencers that are kind of like me that are kind of my age. And it's like, I found this girl that I really like. And it's like, she doesn't really have, like, I want to get to know her. Like, do you guys feel that way? Like, do you guys ever, do you ever like follow people and you're like, I want to know everything about her. Like, I want to know what she eats. I want to know what she does. I want to know how many kids she has. I want to know her kids' names, like really creepy stalkerish. <laughs> but it's like, you know, those things that, you know, people probably want to get to know us too. And can, you know, we're not just, um, I don't want to be just known for, oh yeah, that girl that works out and she, you know, she does all those, those workouts, like no, like I want to be known for something. I want her to feel connected to me somehow. And, um, you know, like that's why she picks me and I am a firm believer. Like, you know, people pick us for a reason, you know, yes, it's our results. Probably most of the time it's okay. They, you, you're caught, you've caught their eye because of your results, but now it's, they want to get to know you. They want to know who you are. They want to like, I always remember following Jess in the beginning <laughs> and she would like, I'd be like, I want to see inside of her house. Like what, what room is that? Like what room, where's her kid's room? Like, it's really, again, like be a stalker <laughs> and go stalk somebody else and ask those questions and write them down and say like, okay, these are the things that I wanted to know about that girl. So what things can I show on my Instagram um, that I can share that people can get to know me? But I agree, Danielle, like I'm the same way. And I, I did this the other day, like there's no way in heck I'm going to pop in someone's DM and say, hey, how much are your workouts? Like I know she'll put the price somewhere, but it's a matter of me like snooping around. So sure enough, first thing I'm like clicking on her link to know. So it's like, okay, we need to go back to our, our link or like, or what are they called? Link, to, link trees and like make sure those are updated. Like I haven't. I'm embarrassed that I haven't looked at mine in a while. And I know that I've got one on there for coaching. And I know I've got one on there for like virtual boot camp that changes every time I update my links. But like, have I updated my storefront, my favorite clothes? Cause that's something else. Like, um, if I see someone that I catch that I like their clothes, I will go and snoop for their uh Amazon storefront. And so again, this is something where again on on your on your off time. <laughs> Like go set up an Amazon associate storefront where you can create a storefront and have categories and all your favorite clothes that you shop. I mean, we all shop Amazon, like our favorite kitchen gadgets. Um, this is all value. Like I love when people share amazing kitchen, like storage or organization. And, um, that is all like commissionable when you guys link it to your like I love when people share links of things that they love so that's all that's all value that's all like getting to know us of like what we love um um I know it all takes time setting it up because trust me I'm like dreading having to go create something about my supplement like my but I'm happy like I create something of like my supplements and like all my links, cause I use a few things that are not Beachbody. Um, I'm happy to like 
share with you guys the doc, but Instagram or Canvas pretty uh, friendly of like, you know, create a list template or something like that. I don't know, like a meal plan template. It's, it's pretty friendly when you ask a question or when you just Google or search it on Canva. So, um, yeah. So what are your guys' thoughts on, let's go back to, um, do we want to do a group? Do we not want to do a group? Are we like, we're in, where are you guys at with that? <laughs> I, I would do it. I would be ready for any of it. I looked at the um, the free preview, like okay. link. Yeah, you know, if you go to like the links that you're gonna do, energize, but you go, you know, you yep. search previews, uh -huh. it actually comes up with like six or seven different choices. So there's the workouts, there's nutrition, there's there's a link for each one, and it connects your number to that link. So that's yes. what you would post like individually. Yes. So. I think all of it is good value to like provide to someone, but it's a matter of getting them to click the link and sign up to like do it with you. Right. And I think, cause I mean, that's the thing. It's like, I agree because it's actually, but this is where, um, so it's like either we do a group and we follow along and we, we pick a workout on the app in the group every single day. Um, the other thing is, is if you know, so I tested it out where someone who subscribed to mine did come through my customer list. So it's, you know, if some, if some, if you share your link with somebody, it's again, this is where streak comes in handy, <laughs> like putting them in your streak saying, uh, you know, I, she is going to sign up for this. And then as soon as I saw her in my customer list, I made a note to check back with her. So I've been checking back in with her to see how she's doing. I have not heard from her. I think I followed up today. Um, I haven't, I don't think she responded yet, but, um, yeah, I mean, I agree. I mean, getting someone to try a workout is a little bit tougher than sending someone a sample of like energized to try like a physical actual thing. And that's where it's like, I'm all for the group as long as everybody's for the, or not everybody, but like, as long as I've, we've got a good group of you guys wanting to do the free group, um, just cause it takes so much time. I was going to say, I'm don't count me in for the free group. And okay. a lot of that's just, just time. I'm, i as you can tell, I'm very much trying to multitask. Uh, <laughs> my husband is at the rental house, our rental house. Anybody who doesn't know caught fire, our tenants, had a, a kitchen fire so my husband is doing that I have the three kids and um work and everything else so I just I don't I do want to do the like I I do want to do the previews I want to figure out how to get that mm -hmm. kind of going either in a form or just a link and then having it and just sharing it in my stories you know a couple times a week or something like that so I will say I do want to try the previews and that kind of stuff, um, but I'm not I'm not uh, available this time for no. the free group together. Well, it's interesting. So the other reason why I've kind of been putting this group on hold was I told my so I, my assistant sends my invites, and so I told her I was like invite to the preview. Like I would be totally curious to see because every day she'll go through and she'll invite new followers. She'll go invite people from my, um, like my posts, like new, new likes or new comments. Then I was like, let's just test it out. I was like, I would be curious to see if I'm getting like a fuck an, an influx of people saying yes to this like free preview. And again, maybe I need to tweak my invite a little bit. And again, like I hate to give up on it, but it is insane how, I am not having much of a change of people interested in a free thing versus, you know, like inviting someone to an actual challenge, which is super interesting, which it's not completely like crazy that it, that's happening because I will say it always comes back to what people have to be ready. Like, I don't care if it's free. I don't care if it costs $200. Like it's never the cost. It's if they feel like your programs are right for them if they feel like 
um, it's the right time for them. And mentally, like they are in it. They are, they are ready to finally make that change for themselves. Like I will say that over and over again, it's, it's never $200 package. And it, that just goes to show, like I am literally inviting people to a free preview and I have maybe got like two yeses. And I, well, I had her do it like last week a little bit and then a little bit this week. And I was like, okay, change back to my challenge group invites because I'm not seeing a lot of a difference. And that's, that's what else is hard. It's like, but again, I also believe like, so I've also gone back to like, okay, well maybe it's inviting people. And then again, it's giving them the options of like, okay, try it for free. Here's my $35 package or here's my $200 package. And again, like I showed you guys the commitment level of like the package options. Yes. Did you send that? Or I can you yet. send the I, Canva? I haven't finished. Um, I, can that looked, I really, I really liked that. Mm -hmm. um, and I think I even commented like the only thing that I wanted to try to add in there or tweak in there was the, um, the free preview of like, I know for me, the word, and this might, I might be the only one, but for some reason, the word trial, like, turn like I'm like I'm out because I in my mind a try a free trial means after that seven days I'm getting charged Thank and gosh. if I forget if I forget to cancel like I I automatically so just say no free preview yeah and so, yeah because the, the I don't, and again I'm sorry I hope you can hear over my kids yeah um, I mean I agree with that I mean cause my husband and I he wanted to watch the Seahawks games or no, not the Seahawks games, the, fo the football games. And this just goes to show like how much he hates subscriptions. And he dang Peacock was like the only, like our cable for some reason didn't have it. And like Peacock was the only, and like Brandon's like, what the heck you have to buy this Peacock app to like watch football. And he refused to, and he like sat there forever. And then he finally gave in and like, and then he turned around and canceled it like right after he bought it. <laughs> so. Yeah. So that's where I'm like, if somewhere, if somehow we can put in there, like no credit card required or, you know, or any, anything. Cause like, I am all for like, wait, I don't have to, all I have to do is put in my email. Like, you know, the whole, like save 5% or whatever by putting in your email. I'm like done. I'll get on an email list. I don't mind. I'll unsubscribe, you know, later. But for some yeah. reason, the, like, trial or anything that involves credit cards I'm like nope because I'm gonna forget to cancel it well and maybe that's it too it's like just the wording to like um because it's I mean technically they don't enter their credit card in so I mean it's technically a free sample I mean if that's better better wording so Jenna I have a question about that because I was looking at Brandy's um you know Brandy the one that works with Darcy yes she was promoting the previews the other day and she, when I clicked on the link, it brought me to her Kajabi page or whatever. I forget the actual linking page, but like you put your name, your email, and then you would click into the body. So then she would be able to collect your email before you log into the body page. So if we just, I mean, we as in, I think I would say Danielle and Tia, I don't know about Alicia, but we don't have all that other like in the middle thing set up. So if we just post the link that you get from body, it'll bring them directly to the body website and we won't know if they log in or not, or if they do it at all. Like there's no collecting of information. Yes. If they log in, they will become your customer and you have their information. Okay. So we don't need that. That's why I, that, that's why I it all out. Cause I was like, I don't want me setting someone up with this preview. And then Jessica, Jessica, I actually pick a random name. Jennifer down the road gets credit for her. No, like if she signs up with this, it literally says Jenna Bray is her coach. It assigns her to to me. I must, I'd be interested to see if someone who already has a coach, if it asks them to switch. But I know like this girl got assigned to me. Sure enough, she showed up in my customer list and I was able to see her information. I was just going to, I was going to ask that because I had somebody pop in under my stuff and it showed like her name come in and then it said $0. And I wondered if that was this. 
But I, again, I don't know for sure. It just said she popped up and it was zero spent. So I was like, was that a customer lead? Like, um, um, and it was a 14 day trial. I was going to say, so it, yeah. shows, like, it literally doesn't show what she purchases. So that, so I've had that twice happen where someone buys the, it basically shows they don't buy anything. And then like you, so you don't even like, you're like, I don't know what you bought, but it's technically either the trial or the preview now. Cause the preview, same thing, like nothing comes up. It's literally just shows her with nothing purchased under that purchase line. Yeah. So that wouldn't be someone like the body company sending you to people like they do sometimes. That's not the same thing. Say that again. That's what I was wondering. I couldn't yep. tell the difference. I wasn't sure if it, it was a customer lead from body that they just give me because, or you know, anyone who's the preview or someone said, yeah. So I, I don't know. But did you post like a link where someone could click on something? A while back. So I yeah. don't know if she just eventually decided to do it or, Actually, but it's someone I don't know. Doesn't it say if they're a lead? It will say customer lead. So yeah. So I think if, let me go pull up this girl up. Coach. It's going to take forever. Um, let me pull up mine and see. So that might be the difference that we would know is obviously this girl, like there was no coach change. There was no inherited. Like this was a legit, like, this is my customer who signed up with my link. If that makes sense. Cause I believe leads would say like, it's a lead. Before it's customer. Oh yeah, so this one says my site from the girl here. I'll show you guys, share screen. Okay, so this is the girl who bought it or didn't buy it, but she um, she just purchased from, or she was the one that did the free trial. She's my customer, it says my site. So I believe leads would say leads um, and it would, and it would, be a different little bubble since the commission's different since you don't get initial commissions from there from the lead um let's see I'm pretty sure though I have like her email and where she's from oh I don't have oh maybe oh because she only had to enter in her email address for the information so I do have her email so that's how you would know and she doesn't have access to body because it's just a preview and she does not have any purchases. Don't know if that helps. So the question would be like if we, because, I mean, that's the thing. It's like, we would have to figure out like a good system of if this is what we're offering without doing a group, like how can you still support them? How can you make sure that you're holding them accountable to do, trying the workouts, um, checking back in with them, um, you know, and getting a good experience where they're going to turn around and actually be like, how are you actually going to turn them into a paid customer is like always the goal, obviously. Yeah, I get that because I mean, yeah, we could just post the link and then if they do it, they do it. And eventually if they buy, they buy, but it won't be a total solution pack. It won't, you know, like people don't just buy those um, normally. <laughs> um I like, sometimes i feel like beach body is doing a better job of promoting of and like solution package yes, yes. Like all of those uh all of the body uh one step whatever the bogo deals i yeah. felt like it was all pointed towards the total solution package yes i feel like ever since they did the shake and hustle pack they promoted it like 
because I feel like before it was like you could have this pack or this pack or this pack and I think when they came out with that the essentials yeah I feel like it was like they wanted everybody to get that pack so they promoted like that pack more than anything else so bye so you know because I felt all the people even though you tell me I shouldn't (laughs) this is Tanya Tanya what's her name She's like number 20 or something like that. I don't know. She was in, you know, she's with the autumn all the time. She posted like her doing Andrea Rogers, like Sam, you know, she was pretending she was doing Pilates or whatever Andrea does or extended bar. Sorry. And then she put the link at the bottom to try my workouts for free. And it brought her to, it brought me to like the previews page. Mm-hmm. So I think that would be, instead of just like talking and talking and us talking and talking, that would be one way to like advertise and like promote it. You know, we're, I think all, most of us are doing dig deep, dig deeper, but even well, if we flip in. People, so today I said, DM me and nobody DM'd me, but I, I said, DM me uh, and try out this workout for free. And I did not get any DMs. I mean, who knows what she got, but I'm just saying it's like an interesting way to, she's doing the same thing, like trying to promote the, promote for like well, the free workouts. And, yeah, the and I mean, I would totally, like if I followed a girl and she started sharing like, Hey, try this out for free. Heck yeah. I would click on it. And at least just like, I don't, again, like, I don't know if I'd actually push play on them, but <laughs> we need to find those right people. Cause we are all the same people. <laughs> We need to find more of those people. And see, if you added me to a group, um, if I was fully committed, I would totally follow along in the group. I'd be nervous to post. I know that. Like, I would be, I would kind of, like, follow along to see what other people were doing at first. And I would want to be encouraged to post. So this is where, too, that's where it's, like, I know my person would want her coach to say like, girl, I want to see your workout in the group today. I'm like, okay, like I can do that. (laughs) So. Yeah. I mean, I just started doing my group like February one. So I'm the only one really posting. The girls are commenting on my posts. Okay. And I mean, it's something Uh, I'm trying to figure out like a rhythm of like Monday, I'm doing this Tuesday, I'm doing this. So it's not just like, oh, I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to do this. And like try to like organize myself um because it just makes it more seamless than like guessing what i'm doing yeah, um totally. but they're not like posting their own things so i guess we'll get there um okay well and that's where when i first started when i first started i think i mentioned this in the chat but i know the chat gets lost sometimes um when i first started <clears throat> my giveaways that i did it had nothing to do with people purchasing. It had nothing to do, like you didn't have, all you had to do was post. And that got you entered into a drawing and it was like a brewmate or, you know, and then I would put some like energized packets in it, some recover packet in it, you know, like a straw in it, you know, or I've seen people put it in a shaker cup too, kind of like a goodie thing. Um, people also do like participant of the week or participant of the month. Um, you know, different things like that. Cause I know for me, if there's a drawing, you know, if there's a giveaway, I am way more likely to like jump on board. Um, and it's like, if you're not, again, for me, it was at first, I didn't care if people were purchasing. I just wanted engagement. So they got in that habit. It's just like building a workout routine. You have to get in the routine of, taking pictures of your food or taking a sweaty, you know, selfie, sweaty, sweaty, selfie, (laughs) you know, like it's like more of like, you have to build those routines. And so doing the giveaways for everybody was those building those routines. And it's not like they had to be perfect. They didn't have to post every day for a week. It was every post you did got you an extra entry in the drawing. And I even did like handwritten out, like all of their drawings. So like at the end of the month, like one girl had like 30 entries and I handed them out and I didn't have that many people in my group. So it wasn't that hard. And I had my kids go live in the group and draw out of the name. So it was very like, it was live. I wasn't, you know, 
altering it or playing favorites like so but that was that was just what worked for me to get people posting was the giveaways I love that I noticed when I did again I know I did bigger gifts which I was actually shocked that not more entered the final drawing but um I saw a lot more just like engagement involvement when I was doing again I think I don't think when people want big gifts you know I mean even like gosh like five dollar gift cards to like Starbucks you know like very small like I mean I don't I would do it for even just like small things um I used to also in the beginning like all of my customers I would write them hand notes and say thank you for like being my customer and I would send them, I would always buy extra like Energize and Beach Bars. And it just meant a lot to them. And, you know, getting a, a hand letter written saying like, thank you so much for being my customer. And even though shipping costs a lot nowadays, like, ah, but um, yeah. Just like I like, did that. Special. Um, all of all of my girls when at the beginning were like local to me. Oh. Um, and most of them were friends and family, actually all of them. Um, and I kind of just, at the beginning, again, I wouldn't do this now, but at the beginning I posted like, hey, I just got a box of these beach bars. If you want one, let me know. And I Which will- is the ordering is a lot higher that I try those. Yes. And and that's what I did. And I had a few girls say, yes, I want one. Mm -hmm. And then thankfully they were all local. So I literally just put them in a little dollar store, you know, little baggie and dropped them off at their doorsteps and oh. they and I think I think only like I think I did it for five girls in the area yeah. and one only one ordered but at the same time at least it at least got it out there like hey these are available hey this is you know and also it's just like for them to know that like I want them to try stuff I'm not just trying to push stuff like I want them to enjoy it Mm -hmm. so and not waste their money if they're not going to know if they like it another or not. thing we used to do which did end up getting expensive but when I used to launch programs people loved the, the sticker decals and so everybody that signed up with me would get like I would make a special decal for them that said like the program um so I don't know do you guys remember back in the day uh with autumn's bands um control freak I bet Alicia, you even got one of them. Um, we made, I think it was called Freak Fam. So like, <laughs> and we, you know, I, it ended up becoming a lot more expensive after a while because it was ended up being like $5 for a decal. And then, but still like, you know, um, it was something special. And then we all had these like decals on our shaker cups when we were like in the group and like everyone loved them. So, and they just felt like they were a part of that group, you know, like it was part of what we did. So fun ways to, it's like, what, what would you like, what, how would you feel like you were connected and how do you feel, you know, would you feel to be a part of that? And what would you want to see? Kind of what I always ask myself. It doesn't have to be huge things. Well, that just makes me, that makes me sad because that makes me think of Summit last year and having all of our matching, you know, workout shirts and stuff I and just know. like how, how fun that is. And I was just thinking, I'm not going to be there we'll <laughs> this year. Extra, we'll have to make it extra fun in LA. <laughs> yes. Right. I know. Um, is anybody going to super Saturday in your guys's areas I know when I first signed up I didn't know what that was so does everybody know what super week the super weekends are is there one you're kind of just announced uh, a Seattle mm -hmm. one so they took them yeah. away for a while that's probably why you guys aren't hearing them um they took them away I don't know why they would take them away because I feel like it was a very important part of like what we did and like feeling connected, especially after COVID. Um, and so they are bringing them back and FYI, Danielle and Alicia, um, they asked me to speak and I'm like terrified. <laughs> I am literally like, what? Yeah. I wasn't going to say yes. For what? What are you speaking about? I don't what? know. 
I am probably just gonna like black out not know what I'm saying okay is that what you posted like last week or so when you're like talking about stepping out of your comfort zone yeah oh my gosh so wait when is this and where is it happening can I come oh you can totally come it's in Seattle in ages (laughs) and when is it it's April 20th okay I have to write write that down you're coming (laughs) I'm gonna need you guys can all come I need like uh oh my gosh I'm so terrified like you guys got this and it's funny because like I like that's one thing that's like like my goal of top 10 I'm like you know how many like big events that they ask the top like I'm almost like I don't want to be top 10 (laughs) because of that but Jess is like you need to say yes because this this is a good one to like practice yeah you know like it's smaller it's not the big stage at summit not saying that I'll ever speak at summit but like it's smaller it's it's if I'm going to fall on my face and completely forget what I'm going to talk about (laughs) that's a good one no, no. Your face no. Is be amazing. oh my gosh that's so exciting Jenna and I don't they don't um she had a bunch of topics that we were supposed to like pick and then she stopped us and was like just kidding so they're trying they're like because whatever they do like whatever they do at Super Saturday in Chicago they do it in Seattle so they keep everything I the guess same. The, the same yeah so it's super interesting that it's like because I right away was like I want to talk about belief in my partners, you know, like, and I'm, well, I already like, I envisioned it. Like I was, cause I was going to say no. And I was thinking about, I didn't get back to her right away. And then I kept like thinking what I'd want to talk about. And then I started like picturing like all your guys, like diamond photos and like, you know, like our message thread. And I was like, I want to talk about belief in partners. And then she was like, here's the topics. And it was like, nothing that I like, I was like, oh, I don't get to pick what I want to talk about. <laughs> so, so we'll see. It still will be an honor, but I don't know yeah. what I'm talking about. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. I'm scared though, but I just don't think about it. <laughs> it might be easier to like, if they already have topics for you and you just like, I they kind of already have it set for you. Yeah, she actually it was it what like it is I'm in super curious like how this works on like summit because I know like obviously yes you get a it's your words but I know corporate does like skim over your entire speech for like summit which makes sense but I'm also like oh like you can't really say what you want I mean not that you don't get to say what you want to say, but it, it does sound like they give you templates and then you form your words around them. It's like, oh, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Prepare your speech and then you can practice in LA. That's very true. And we'll we'll pretend there's like 20 of us, but there's That's really very just true. I will I am <laughs> I am literally I remember Melanie posted um a reel about public speaking and like how she got and she's like practice, practice. So yeah, for sure. So I need to get my girls all there so I can <laughs> have support. <laughs> but yeah. You're back, yay. Sorry, my phone died and then I had to <laughs> wait for it to charge enough to turn back on. <laughs> that, that sounds about right. That sounds about my life. <laughs> I know I went on my son's field trip today and then so when I got home it was like rushing to try to get my work done and then it was so now I feel like I've been in a rush ever since but um so okay just a second um so so Jenna I take it you are going to uh uh super Saturday then (laughs) well now I feel like I have to go you should um I I think Jess got asked to speak to I don't know if she is. She said she just doesn't know with the house and everything going on. So I don't know if she is speaking to or not. But I, I told her, I was like, if I'm speaking, you have to speak. 
Yeah, I think she spoke because I've only ever been to one, and um, I just spoke at that one. Yeah, but she it's a yeah, it's a three. It's a just it's like a three or four hour drive for me. I was gonna say depending on traffic. Seattle? I can't remember where the location it's, is. It's um, it's at a hotel and it's a oh lake something lake. Um, oh. by by see it's 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 by Seattle. It's not in Seattle. But yeah, it's, it's by it. So it's, yeah, it's a few hour drive for me. So I was like, do I stay the night there? (laughs) So, and then like, yeah. Logistics of it. Yeah. Yeah. Jenna, do you know for Summit, if, because Tasha's like part of our team, like they're going to do like the big dance and all the the shinding and the show. I would be prepared for us to go on stage again. Yes. So we all they would, always, even though we're not. It like, might not be dancing this time, but they always have, at least at the very end, there is a moment where we all, and we were welcome to like floor seating that night too, which was kind of cool. So, um, but yes, we will, I will say for sure, probably be up on stage at some point at the end. So you're going to have to help us pick out what we're wearing then because I would not so know we what to will, wear. Uh, <laughs> probably have like, a theme so every night at summit we had a like black either black or we had a color what was what we were like oh we were like a greenish um one night yeah we have like themed um nights where we all dress the same okay yeah, yeah um, they sent out like a spreadsheet that said like this event we're wearing greens and blues and this event you're wearing black or gold and then this event you're wearing so it was like I don't remember who did that but it was all organized Mm -hmm. yeah I think yeah that makes sense but yeah it was all organized of like outfit coordination um so that way pictures looked good yeah okay that's helpful because I need some help me too I don't know anything about anything so (laughs) Is there like a deadline of when you're supposed to get your summit ticket? There is a deadline. I would say okay. closer to summit. Um, but I got I, my ticket already in the beginning because it was it like gets more free. expensive. I'll just say that. Like okay. if you were a success starter and you didn't get a free ticket, it yeah. does get more expensive the closer it gets. Okay. Like, um last or last year one of our newer coaches showed up so you can just show up and buy a ticket but she still the only reason why she got a good deal on it was because she was a first time it was like her first year and she signed up within a certain amount of time like by a deadline so she got like a 130 price versus the three it's like three they end up like jacking it up to like 300 if you show up the day of and and buy oh and they I know you wouldn't do that, but right. I think they're cheaper this year than they were last year. So I wonder if they haven't had, like, they haven't sold as many as they are tr- hoping to because they're $150 right now. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I think yeah. the sale price, like the, the cheapest you could get them last year was like 165 Yeah. I, I would believe. say it's the cheapest it will be. Okay. Mm-hmm. But did you guys all... Are, Aren't you guys all success starters? I got my ticket and I, I mean, Mm -hmm. I got the invitation like months and months and months ago. And I was like, Jenna was like, you just need to do it. (laughs) Yeah. So I, I, as you guys have seen, my life is like upside down. So I don't know what's going to be happening in my life in June, but I'm like, I'm going to do the ticket and then I can't really take it back. And I'm going to make sure my parents are here to watch the children and I'll figure it out. June is like how many months from now? So I will be there some way somehow. Um, but yeah, I got my ticket, but I, I'm just worried about the hotels and like what's going on with and, the And well, right. uh yeah, so the hotels what I would do is I would start snooping out to see, like maybe get a couple people to see if you like could room with you. Um, we have the summit page. Um just because our hotels do book up um, and the closer we get to summit, obviously. And it's kind of nice to like 
the closer you stay, the easier it will be to get to like, because it sounds like it's just going to be in the one building. So it's just easier to get to the convention center or wherever it's at. So, but Darcy had mentioned earlier that you and Darcy had like, you know, six rooms or something like under your I name. Have you one could block them out. And I'm keeping it for myself and maybe my husband. So, oh, oh, you only have one room. Yes, I only have one room. Oh, yeah, okay. I was like skimming through. I was like, I only have one room. Oh, okay. So, yeah, for now, I'm going to keep it for break. I really want Brandon to come. I don't know if that's going to happen, but at this time I'm going to say he's going to come and I'm pretty sure he doesn't want the girl. So can you tell us what hotel that is so that we could like maybe I am pretty, and I could just do a room? Yes. Well, the problem is, is that hotel's probably booked up mm -hmm. because that hotel, like when they open right after summit they will literally open up blocks of rooms for us at a discounted price and so elite partners premier partners all start i think like certain tiers get so i would bet unless you get super lucky that someone's like canceled the room yesterday um i can tell you what hotel we're in but chances of you actually getting in that hotel might be slim I was going to say when I booked last year, the, yeah, like all the close by hotels were one. booked. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yes, if you are going, at least put your name down. I think you have up until like a certain date that you can cancel and it's like a $25 cancellation fee. Um, Ellie, please. Um, so yeah, so I would almost just book a room. And worst case, you are out, like, I believe it's $25. Um, because, yeah, like Jenna said, they do book out. And then you'll be stuck staying farther away, um, which isn't the best. Yeah, no, I mean, can you share what hotel or, like, what is the location we need to be around? What is because it? The Marriott I have connections with Marriott Hotels, so I could probably get us a Marriott room. And if even if it's, like, $400... We share it among, you know, three or four people and it's, it's not $400 that you're spending, you know? Yeah. If you look online, um, it'll, on the summit ticket, it'll tell you where the event is and um, you got it. And then it, actually the hotels, it'll tell you how far away each hotel mm -hmm. is from your, from the event space. So okay. if you just, you know, look up the summit information they'll list out the hotel rooms okay and you just you book them through beach bodies site um so i want to say marriott was it marriott and hilton are they I'm, two that I'm are trying to find right, it right there now. i don't remember off the top of my head but i want to say it was like the marriott was one of them but don't quote me on it <laughs> Yeah, if it's Marriott or anything under Marriott, I mean, there's 30 brands under Marriott. I used to work for Marriott. Now there's, you know, a million brands. So anyways, I'll, I'll figure that out and let you girls know, Danielle and Tia, if you want to room up together. Um, and we'll, yeah, that sounds good. We'll figure it out. Uh, so the Grand Hyatt in, Grand Hyatt in San Antonio is where oh, I'm. Hyatt. Okay. That's where like the, the higher up people are staying. It's just, so what happens is they will block the hotel. Like they will literally like beach body will mm -hmm. block a bunch of rooms for each hotel. Yeah. And then only like they start with top 10, then they start with elite, then premiere and they release the rooms and it gets booked up within like, I'm literally the day that they say, like, they'll say you're an elite partner. You can book your hotel on this day I am literally like at 9 a.m waiting to book because you don't get a hotel and yeah. I uh and of course like I this is the one we stayed in last year so I was like okay I'll just book that same one so and that's where Tasha and Jess were too so but I mean we will be together for most of the time we just won't be in the same like uh uh most of the girls uh, except for Darcy and she had a little room for her, a few of her girls, but Alicia and her mom were in a different hotel, but weren't we together most of this? I mean, like, we'll literally have a chat and I'll be like, Hey, let's meet up for dinner here. Um, 
Do you know what hotel that Darcy's staying at? She's probably not here. I think she got a room at the Grand, or she did get a room at the Grand Hyatt as well. Okay. All right. Well, she just made in the message, maybe I read it wrong, but she was like, we have rooms, we're splitting them up and we're going to figure it out. But now that we know that's not happening, we need to figure it out on our own. I'm on it. I'm just holding off because I told myself last year that Brandon was going to come and then I didn't. And I, I, it would be special for him to get to see me up on stage yeah so yeah. no totally agree that's fine but I'm 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 holding out if if something changes I will let you know but like for now I'm like I I really think this this should be a good year that he would come and get to see so yeah, yeah well you probably don't want the five of us like in your room with you so either way do, another but... hotel room <laughs> I don't know if he does. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. We're, we're definitely not staying in your room if he's coming. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm on it, girls. I, for a while, I looked at houses, um, but they're just really expensive. Um, and also my fear is, I mean, I have a couple other girls who, um, um, who will go to summit every year, like Bobby Lee, like there's a lot of girls that come to summit and you probably don't see on team calls. You probably don't see in team chats. Um, they have already been hitting me up about summit and I was like, Oh, it'd be fun to get a house. But then I would feel horrible if I bought a house and then someone can't fit in it. Like I didn't get enough rooms you know, and it's like, that would be my worst fear is like getting a house of 10. And then because Airbnbs are very, very strict with how many people stay in the house. Like they literally ask you how many people, how do you have any visitors? So like, I couldn't just say, okay, just sleep on the couch. <laughs> so, um, I don't know. My fear is like, I would book a house and then there would be like two girls that can't, can't stay in the house. I don't know. Wait, so that's the other question is because the dates change. Like, when are you going from this? I know this is not why we're here, but we're just kind of shifted. The well, no, they're good questions. Um, elite, well, and I was asking because I was just trying to get, I was figuring out who all was, who all of you guys were coming. Because it's only um, from. Like, I would for sure be there. If they, they're probably going to move elite night to, um, to thirst so there's one night that is for elite only so i believe that was wednesday night so i'm sure that will be moved to thursday night so i will probably come in on if i could get in wednesday early or well maybe thursday maybe come in thursday early as long as i there... really need to be there friday saturday what's that we really need to be there like Friday, Saturday, yes. maybe Thursday, if, if we're going to like arrive early and have. I would say, time. yeah, because it, it's nice to check in so that you have to go to the check-in, which is usually at the convention center, get your, Tia, you've been to Summit, haven't you? Yes. Are you coming? Okay. Um, You have to like check in and you guys will all get your diamond medals and you get to have exclusive like. But you don't get your medal if you don't come to Summit. That that does suck. <laughs> I hate the I hate that they they don't send them to you. So mm. that makes you want to come to Summit. Um, but you'll get like your all your your bling if you have you guys will all get your bling. Um, and then so you'll want you like it's nice to check in and not feel so rushed when you, the day of. But again, we'll get a schedule of what it looks like. Like I won't book my flight probably till March just because I want to make sure the schedule is good. Okay. So ideally maybe arrive Thursday event is Friday, Saturday, and we leave Sunday. Yeah. Right. Okay. Cause we all arrived Wednesday. You guys will arrive Wednesday. We could come Wednesday, but we can't go to your events because we're not there yet. Yes. But I was <laughs> just saying, so that sounds about right because we came in Wednesday when the summit started on Thursday. Yeah. The day before. Okay. All right. And it's very hot in June. Like dripping sweats. Like I know. Well, I was trying to think to like build it into like a family vacation with like my parents, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. See where my life is at that point. 
Um, didn't they move the workout inside this year? Or yeah, yeah probably of the... a good thing for how hot it was last year. And I know it was like a heat wave. I mean, it was. I mean, like I I've been in hot weather before, but like we walked down the street to go check something out and I felt like I could barely like breathe because it was so humid like it was I mean you guys might be used to that we're not used to that in the Pacific Northwest <laughs> um it was insane yeah so but it's fun it's really fun and I remember watching you guys last year. I might year. need to move my flight home on Sunday to later. <laughs> we were literally like, we stayed up way too late. And so many girls like didn't even sleep because we didn't want to go to bed and we were drinking. And the next morning, I think it was Bobby Lee and a couple girls did, just didn't sleep and they just were drinking all night. And then they got, they got ready to go in the morning and got on their plane. Well, that was like we ended like so Saturday. Just a second. We were so Saturday was like the big yeah. That was when we all went on stage with Tasha. So it's like, and then we went out and like we had drinks, we're dancing, we're dancing. and yeah. And then it was like, okay, gotta get on plane. You know, everyone had like early morning and then everybody plane tickets, you know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think I remember seeing you guys all, and I was like, I have to be there next year and that's like, why i signed up in july to do the partner training and i was like okay we're gonna do this <laughs> we invest it's an investment because it's a plane ticket it's time away like it is like it's hard to get away like but i am telling you to meet everybody in person like yeah. our team just it's so cool and we do like a gathering and we do a lunch where we get to meet everyone um, well, you, I mean, you girls in Florida got to meet most of them, which was really, it's just some, it's its own experience. Like diamond retreats are their own experience that you won't want to miss, but some, is just something magical. Like it's hard to like, I know. Sorry, Alicia. Sorry. Yeah, no, <laughs> I know. I know. And I just, and it is, it is so fun. I wish it wasn't, I wish it wasn't so expensive. I feel like that's also like, especially when you're new and you haven't like made very much. Like I think Summit ended up costing me last year, like that my flight was $700 and then you add in the room and then Ubers and eat, you know, food. I think it was like $1,500 that Summit. And it's just like, at that time I hadn't I hadn't made $1,500 and I was, and again, I know it's like one of those and it's an investment, but it's also, I kind of like, I had to switch my mindset as like, it's also a vacation. Yeah. It's also, it's, it's not because, you know, like I know a lot of people, it's like, well, I haven't made that much money yet, but I had a lot of followers after summit. I got, I, there was a lot of, I, I met Alana. I met, you know, it's like, it's experience too. It's, it's a good time too. It's meeting everybody too. It's, it, it's more than just, you know, I, yeah. so I went to, um, I think I went to Florida that February and then summit and, you know, but I spent a lot of money on travel last year, but it was, that was like earlier in the year I went for the tooth or the Jess's, uh, little retreat and then, um, summit and, both obviously were very expensive, but I came away with like my best recruiting months. Like I also look at it as like, that is the best time to talk about the business. I mean, I know for me, a perk of traveling and getting to see you girls, like getting to go to LA, which I need to talk about more on my stories because I feel like I haven't been talking about it, but like that to me is like, I want to be a part of that, you know, like that would intrigue me to want to be a part of this business. And that's how I look at it. And even Melanie, who's my business coach, she's like, this is, that's, that's your investment. Like, is your, you know, like this is the best recruiting time because this is where they get to see the community. This is where they get to see, it's not just you building this business. It is you and a team of people building this business. So, um, which reminds me, we should probably do something post the trip of some type of recruiting 
event or something fun would be really fun. I don't know if it's a group. <laughs> I I don't know why I'm so like against feeling like groups are so much work right now. Um, okay, going back to free since it is six. Um, do we want to do a free group? Do we not? I mean, I I for, I think I went on my trip and I don't know if I added up everybody who said that they were in for the for the free group. Um, is this something we want to do? If we if we commit to it, I will just say like. Whoever commits, we do have to be all in with this. Um, I Yes, I will take care of the posts. I have the content, so I will schedule the posts. But I would love for you guys to be you know, in there posting as well. Um, I would love for you guys to go live if you guys feel like you have something that you're good about, like meal prepping, meal planning, whatever. Um, but just like this group, we need to almost like 10x to give them the experience that they will turn around and say, I need to be a part of this is like always the goal. Yeah, I'm in. Okay. I'm in. Okay. Did we, I think we said the 19th is that, what's the date today? Yeah. So today is the eighth. So that gives us a good like week, a little bit over a week to recruit to it and get people in. Um, okay. Next question is, do we want this to just be workouts? Do we want this just to be clean eating? Do we want to take advantage of the preview and talk about the preview? Um, what do you guys think on that? I haven't really looked into the preview at all. So it's just has workouts and it shows well, like the idea of the preview would be anybody who joins the free group would need to register with the preview so they would have access to the sample workout. So the preview is literally just sample workout. So like, you know, whenever we're like, how does someone try T25 or whatever? It's like, Google it. Well, now it's all in the app and they can register or they can register, add their email in. They will get access. It's basically like they have Beachbody on demand, but they don't like everything else is locked. And the only things they have access to is the free workouts, um, informational video on the nutrition plan. And then, um, uh, oh, they have like some other, like, like, I think they have a, a sample of like the body workout, a fiber, um, they kind of like picked and choose from body, like some sample things. So, which so I thought yeah, was a mindset was part too. Yeah. So the other day I was talking about my, my ab workouts and I said, drop the word workout and I'll let you sample it. And I thought, Oh, perfect. I can literally, cause they, it's like broken down, like what body part you want to work. And then it gives them some sample workouts. So, which is kind of cool. I like that. <clears throat> that way they can kind of maneuver through it, pick whatever well, that's the thing. Like, I mean, they want to do what a cool tool for someone to check it out without, you know, like, yeah. How often are we like, can these networks of, or you often hear it say like, oh, Netflix of workouts. Well, what the heck? Like, oh, it's an app. Like, cool. There's all these workouts, you know, I don't yeah. have to go on YouTube and try to find my free workout. Like there's an app actually. Um, Would it be cool? Like, I don't have a whole lot of people on email, but like send out a cool email that like, promotes this free one and then they can click the link and like do it themselves. I don't know. I like, mean, I don't know. So like, even if they decide not to join the group that there's a, like an email that you can send it to people to say like, check out my free preview. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, I would encourage the group, but I mean, yeah, if they don't want to do the group, they could totally just try out the free preview. And yeah. that's, the thing. I mean, you're going to start having conversations with people um, and, you know, they'll be like, well, I, I can't, I get this a lot. Like, oh, well, I'm on vacation that week or, oh, I'm busy that week. I just started a new job. Oh gosh, girl. Like you don't have to be part of the group. Like you should just check out the workouts and check out the app here. I'll let's get you signed up with the app. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So it would be good to have like a free email right where is it at in the body or in the website like where is it at so 
Uh, for you to share it, you have to go to that generate. Uh, I think it's like the link generator, Beachbody. Okay. And then once that pops up, you'll enter in your coach ID. And then it's the very first, uh, it's the very first um, like link you can copy to share. Danielle, I saved them all into my, into like a Word doc under my link. I'll just send you that Word doc and then you can kind of see the different things. Okay. It's actually cool how it breaks it all down um, into like workouts, mindset, or you could just send the previews, you do the just the workouts. So we'd have to kind of pick and choose what, what we're promoting. Partner links and product info. Right. So you put your link there or you put your number there and then you search um, for previews and it'll show you like six different choices of previews. Gotcha. Okay. They kind of okay. It down. For the body preview, there should just be one. Is there multiple? There's multiple because they broke it down. So there's like a preview page where it, when you click on that, then you can do workouts, mindset, you know, whatever. Or there's just one that brings you directly to the 14 days of workouts. So I do the one that says the pop quiz because it'll take them and it'll have them fill out a quiz. Right. So there's one that has a quiz. You know, there's there's different ones. That's what I'm saying. There's they kind of broke it down, which is. You know, it's good and bad. It's good to have options, but you have to kind of work with it. Yeah, I was going to say, because. Tool link or toolkit generator. I don't know what it's ever called. So yeah, I mean, did you right, guys right, want right. one, two, nine, four? See there. Oh. Just, Mine brought up like a bunch of different different things. things. Well, did you type in preview? Yeah. So it should be at the very top. Um oh, but see how there's all those different things now sample workouts, nutrition, like it broke it down. So I copied each one. I was trying to figure out how to talk about it in my stories individually. So, choose well, one. I'm assuming it takes you to the same. I hope it takes you to the, just the same thing. Cause I thought it's the not the same. No, it's not the same page. No, they're all each individual pages or sections of like the preview, you know, page. but like, So someone could preview this without entering their email. See, and I would not want that. Oops. That's weird. So basically, this is just going to take them to the nutritional video, mm -hmm. which is cool. But I would want them to sign in. So that's kind of what I was asking you before. Like if we, we as in, you know, not speaking for you girls, but Danielle, Tia, and myself, we don't have like that middle page set up. So if we put that okay. link in so our series. if you use this top one, which is the one that I was using, they fill out this quiz, which I think is very professional. Mm -hmm. Let me show you. I, sorry, I didn't know that there were multiple. Yeah, so there's so how cool is that? Like they have to walk through this like quiz, which is super simple. It's like, what is your experience? I'll just say intermediate. I want to lose weight and I love to dance. So it'll actually recommend what workouts to do and then it'll tell them to sign up. So okay. they can't so, get in until they sign up and give me my, their email. So we should only kind of focus on the quiz one. Oh yeah. I, that's okay. the one that I, I would, cause if you're just sending them to the nutritional value that are the nutritional videos, which is cool. Like it's good to know that, if someone wants information on the nutrition plan, I would send them that nutrition, that, that preview nutrition. Yeah. Okay. That makes more That's sense. That's a perfect link to send somebody. But if you're promoting this preview, you have to get their email. Yes. I would encourage this one. Dante looks so different there. It's crazy. 
how but someone can so then they enter their customer. email then they will be assigned to you as their customer okay good to so know so that glad, one is glad the one that says the body preview fit, fitness quiz mm -hmm. i wonder what this one is yeah there's there's like so many of them which is helpful but at the same time like well i would just first come out before you try use them uh let's see what this one is Oh yeah, see, I wouldn't want to send somebody to Carl talking. <laughs> yeah, but it shows you the workouts. Then you can go to the sample workouts. Click over to the right and it shows you all the workouts. Right, which is great, but I want their email. <laughs> right, but they're going to keep doing all of that on their own and not give you any money to like sign up with you. But this, so this is what's cool about the preview is... So like, see, this is what I was, when I was doing the, um, my ab, I was like, comment below for workouts. And I was referring to, I'm going to send you my favorite ab workouts. Voila. Look at that. My favorite ab workouts, my favorite bar workouts, my favorite cardio workouts, my favorite. So you could pretty much do, you know, but Jenna, can you like, um, the little three dots on one of those um, workouts is it click on one of those and what happens? Yeah, you should be able to do these. Yep. Cause I see what Jess is saying. Like if you send them that, like they got all of access to all of those workouts. So they're never going to, so mm -hmm. how would you send them just your, like your favorite ab workout? How yeah, would you no, if it? they're doing this, they're going to get access to all of these. Correct. Yeah. So how would you send, like, if you wanted to send that giddy up, cause that's your favorite dance workout, how would you send them just that? Is there, a um, way? you, if, if you didn't want to send them this body preview, I would, uh, like, let's say if I were, well, technically I would say, um, you want to, so today in my, in my, uh, in my stories, I was like, um, if you want to try out this workout, I'll send you the sample. I could technically just send them the YouTube video of the. Okay. Like, that's what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why, like, we did that in our free group last week or whatever. I just Googled them, YouTube, copied, mm -hmm. pasted. It was perfect. Mm -hmm. um, but I think that's par partly why Brandy has that middle website set up because she can grab their email, grab their basic info. And then it still leads them to those workouts, but she still has their information. So, all right. So if they sign up for previews, you will get their email. We need to go straight to the quiz one. That's that's the takeaway, ladies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't give away everything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, don't just send them to that website without giving their information. Yeah. Email is the ticket, the gold ticket. Right. Well, and I know that's not why we're here, but Bailey is not collecting emails, by the way. So maybe she's doing it a different way. She's obviously doing something right, but <laughs> emails is not her thing. Okay. So for short sure of the free group, yeah, to put together mm -hmm. a free email, that's we could send people if you have an email list. Um, is there anything else? I will put together like a welcome email for us so that when you welcome people in. Um, what else? Um, do you guys have any good Canva graph? I swear I can never find Canva graphics for things. Do you guys have any Canva graphics that you guys used for the free group last time? that worked really well? Or did you guys just make your own? Just we made really just our, made our own. own. Okay, I don't know if you guys wanna like share that for anybody who needs some, obviously they need to like put their own words or their own photos on it. Cause it is kind of nice to have like Canva. Like stories, do you mean? Yeah, like stories promoting? That, like, what it is because I would say I would be doing talking stories about it but you can also do like you know sometimes it's nice just to see words of like what it is mm -hmm. um, so like having some stories that like say you know this is what you're gonna get okay 
let's nail down. Okay. So we're for sure going to use the body preview, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So those are the workouts. So are we going to just pick a workout each day for everyone to try or can maybe they try whatever they want? Or do you think maybe we just ask them to check in every day with which one they did? Okay. Yeah. And I would say just like work with your girls of like giving them, um, giving them like, well, I mean, I guess could like refer ones that are good. I mean, we know what's good and what's not. Yeah. Yeah. In my group, I was going to, I was thinking like every Wednesday I was going to post like a sample workout just to kind of give them like a idea of like the, I don't know, that's just in my group, but First, our free group, we did the same thing. Like every day we posted a different workout and had them try it, so. Oh, okay, so. Okay, what about, uh, do they, did you guys do a meal plan last time or was it just eat clean? Because I think sometimes too, it's like you overwhelm them with like a meal plan, but then there are girls that jump in and are like, it would be nice to have recipes. I don't know. Maybe we'd just do eat clean. A clean, just like eat clean. No like specific meal plan to follow. Because that's the other thing is like some people don't like what you give them to eat. Yeah, I think I think giving like a plan necessarily to follow, but maybe just some recipe ideas okay. would be helpful because I know I take a lot of the stuff from that you've given me over the years or Jess is like, promoted and you alter it to like what works for you you know yeah and it's still helpful to give you like something to start with okay so we'll just say like a guide yeah and some recipes I'll see what I can find because there's got to be something um okay um so the one that I do have that I did purchase it's called the seven day reset um or would you guys want to call it something else Yeah, I like that. Yeah, no, that's good. Um, I might even now that the preview exists, I might go on if I could freaking find a free or not a free, if I could go into what's it called, Etsy and find something where someone has actually turned this the previews into a seven day free group, that would be gold. <laughs> so We'll stick with the reset for now. Um, seven day reset, but um, yeah, okay. Okay, I will get the group up and running um, and I will get the posts. Let's just decide like, who wants to do the welcome video? I'll make a like a Google Doc again, like welcome video. <coughs> uh, a meal planning or prepping video. Plan prep. Do you guys have any other? What do you? What else did you? Was there anything that worked really well for your when you guys did it? Did you guys go live every day or no? Um, we did go Tia live. Went, Tia went live. Jen went live. It just yeah. kind of depend on the day, I guess, like what the topic was. We kind yeah. of said every day was a topic, mindset, workouts, supplements, and each one of us Same. kind of picked the day to go live. Did you guys go live and talk about packages or how did you guys talk about Jen um, did at the end. She went at the end and was like promoting the BOGO in the $40, $40 off and all that. Who did that? Jen did. Oh. Jen, you're your oh, friend. Follow your guys' group and see it. <laughs> I know. We should invite you. Um. Okay. Yes. So I would love even doing it Wednesday. So one thing that works really well sometimes is doing it Wednesday instead of waiting till the end because you catch them before the weekend. You catch them um feeling their best and catch them before payday <laughs> yeah we ended up switching our group like Wednesday to Wednesday so I think she did it like Sunday. oh that's right she did Sunday and then it went until Wednesday yes okay so like midway through the group so it kind of caught like some of the girls but 
of like feeling good, you know? Yeah. I mean, I think most of my girls were still complaining about the price of everything. So they didn't sign up, but um, I'll catch them on this time. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, let's do it. Let's do it. Are we good with the 19th? Well, I hate to call it a seven day. Sometimes it's even a five day is like gold. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when it drags into the weekend, people just don't care. Yeah. yeah. I think five days is like uh, good. Seven days is too long. Yeah. Um, oh, and then we go to, we go to LA the next week. Wow. Right. It's going to go quick, you guys. Um. Okay. So the 19th through the 23rd, right? Does that sound okay? Okay. Yeah, it sounds good. Okay. Day oh. after my birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday to Tia. Okay, we got a lot of birthdays. You're on the 18th? You're no, on the 18th? The 22nd. No, 22nd, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, you're on the 22nd. Okay. Yeah, we got a lot of birthdays in February. I know. How old are you turning, Tia? 43. Really? Ooh. Mm -hmm. what? Wait, yeah, so we'll be the old lady day. there so we'll be yeah, the old but... ladies together <laughs> right yeah I don't feel I don't feel experienced enough to be 43 so experienced enough <laughs> yeah and, and March will be 44 but I was like I'm gonna be the old lady like um now I'm totally love losing her name in Florida she was like six year old with all the rest of us Oh, oh yeah. that's Maureen. awesome. Maureen, she yeah. was like the older woman in the group. And I was like, I'm going to be the old lady with all you youngins. You and me, Tia. Yep. <laughs> I'll be going to bed first. I'm, no, I'm just playing. <laughs> no, Tia, you need to keep me under wraps this time. You we need will. To we're, um, crazy so y'all were talking about not going to bed like the last night of summit. Um, yeah, I did I'm, not. I'm pretty not stressed about... early. Okay. I drank yeah, all I'm... the things. I'm pretty stressed about uh, flying home Sunday morning. So, but don't stress about it. Don't wish it away. No, I'm just saying. I'm not, it's just anxious. Well, you it's guys are going to be on a different time zone. So, really, mm -hmm. you guys, what is that going to be? So, it's when it's three, three hours, yeah, uh -huh. three hours yeah. different. No, we're going to be a hot so mess. nine. 9 p.m. here, it's going to feel like midnight for you guys. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to need lots oh. of energize. Lots of energy. Yes. I'm going to need yeah. all that. We I go to bed early. Uh, so. Should we do a uh, a call? Here, I should probably stop the meeting. Stop recording. <laughs>